Hello fellow doll lovers, it's Janie. Welcome to another video on my channel. This is really sort of like an impromptu video and it is kind of late at night. It's actually uh, 1030 right now. And I have um, already showered and everything to get ready for bed because I didn't really um, think I was gonna do this, but then, you know, plans change. But this is an unbagging video to the impromptu, amazing mega haul thrift store doll vlog. I went looking for linens with my mom at a thrift store. We're just going to stop in and I was like, let me just check the doll section just to see if there's anything really, really awesome. And I found more than just one really, really awesome thing. And I think that there's most likely going to be two parts to this because I did find quite a multitude of items. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. The first doll that I found, this is like the first, like not like small size Barbie doll. This is a 17 inch singing Disney store Ariel. Now she was really, really cheap. In my opinion, she was only $3 and she's in pretty good shape. Like her hair is done up in this bun, but it's still really, really shiny and in really good shape. Um, she doesn't have any clothes obviously, but a lot of her is really, really nice. Um, her face is really clean. There's really nothing wrong with her. She just doesn't have clothes, which isn't really that big of a deal. But I was really, really excited when I found her because I don't have very many 17-inch singing Disney dolls. The only ones I have, I have two Rapunzels, Anna, Elsa, Merida, Jasmine, and Belle. So I have Ariel now, and I just recently got the Belle. I got her in my big flea market finds thrift store. Not thrift store, but my whole flea market finds thing. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to find her. She was the first one I found. She was just sitting right in the like big doll like section of the toys. So not like where all the bag dolls are, but like where there's like the play sets and like the bouncy balls and like all the big items. So I found her there and I got really excited. And then I am going to show you guys all the dolls that I found in bags. And this will definitely be in two parts because I do have a lot of bags. But for $4.98, I was kind of iffy about getting this one because one of the dolls in here has had all of her hair chopped off and all of the hair plugs pulled out so that she is 100% bald. And this is her. So as you can see, she totally has no hair. But I really liked her face, so I figured that I could save her for a reroute project just in case. But she is also wearing this really, really adorable outfit. I don't know if it belongs to her or not, but she's got this white purse and this like peach colored jacket and these jeans that are like striped and they're like flared out like bell bottoms. So I got her, and along with her, I found a. Sorry, trying to pull her out. Disney Store Pocahontas. This one, sorry, she's got like hair wrapped around her neck. It's like choking her. Um, yeah, she does have some like marks on her face, but it looks like it's in pencil. So it, it looks like I'll be able to remove it. And her hair isn't too bad. It's a little matted, but like not terrible. And she is wearing her dress. So that is a big bonus. I do not have very many Disney Store Pocahontases, especially ones wearing their dress. So I'm very excited about that. The next bag is also $4.98, and both of the dolls inside are super cool, and I'm really excited. One thing I really, really like about this thrift store that I go to is that they put little, like, tidbits of, like, clothing inside with the dolls. So it's not always just dolls. It's got, like, little bits of clothing inside. Like, for example, there is this really, really cute red Mario t-shirt. For like Barbies and it looks really nice and new it's really really cute and I'm really excited that that was in there but the first doll is this very very beautiful model muse doll I think this might even be her dress um, she does have ink on her face um, but it also looks to be drawn on in pencil so hopefully I'll luckily be able to get that out and she does have some like stains on her legs but nevertheless, I'm very, very excited to find her. I don't know. I think she might be one of the Barbie Luck dolls, uh, but I'm not entirely certain. She is missing her earrings, but, like, I'm really not upset about that. She's super, super gorgeous. Her hair is pulled up in this, like, messy ponytail, but I'm not too bothered by it. It looks like it'll be pretty easy to fix. And the next doll and last doll in this bag, this is one of the holiday Barbies. I actually do have this one already. I forget the date. Um, I actually found her new in box, um, 
but yeah this definitely isn't her outfit but it's actually really cute in my opinion it's actually a really cute like fairy dress I don't know if it's Barbie or not I don't think it says but um, it's really cute and even though I have her already I do still think she's beautiful she's got these rooted eyelashes like the one in like the doll also with her in the bag and she still has her necklace and her earrings and her little hair piece yeah she's super beautiful she her face does have some stains so it's got like some pen right there a lot of these dolls are stained um, but hopefully they'll be able to be removed the, this one looks like the only one that looks like it'll have to be taken off with um, benzoyl peroxide a lot of the rest look like it's just fine with acetone acetone wow acetone that's not a word I'm tired I had rehearsal all day today which is why I look a little bit tired and I don't have any makeup on or anything but I really like I don't really care about that sort of thing. I hope you guys aren't watching me just because I have nice makeup on. But anyway, the next bag was also $4.98. And sorry. There, there were like tag discounts. The yellow tags and the green tags were on sale. Um, and I did get a few of those, but most of them had white tags. Um, so this is a Princess and the Pop Star doll. She is none of the ones that I have. Um, she has this whole, like, get-up. I'm not exactly sure how it works. I think this is the way it's supposed to be. And then I think you flip her torso somehow? I don't know how this works. She has, like, oh, oh, like that. Okay, so it goes like this, and then you flip this part, and it turns like that. Okay, that's really cool. Um, she is very, very dirty, like her dress. I think I'm gonna, it's not able to be removed, is it? Oh, oh, yay. Okay, awesome. So this dress top over layer part is actually removable so I can take it off and clean the dress part of it so that's really relieved relieving wow okay I'm sorry I'm having a hard time talking um yeah her hair is really tangled and it's a little bit greasy but she'll be fine with a wash and the other doll in the bag is freaky fusion Dracubecca so I do already have this doll but I don't find her very often she has all of her limbs I don't know if this dress is hers. Let me take a look at my dress. Um, she's back here. Mm. No, this isn't her dress. Um, but it is very, very cute. And I don't have it, so I may just take this dress off of her um, and use it for somebody else because it's really cute. I don't exactly know who it belongs to. If you guys can identify the dress or any of these dolls I'm about to show you that I'm unable to um, place right away, if you guys could leave a comment down below, that would be really awesome. Um, but yeah, her hair is pretty matted, um, but she's in good condition besides that. Her face is just a little dirty, but nothing too crazy. The next doll, I found a lot more Monster High dolls this time than I did before. This was up for $3.98, and it has two Monster High dolls inside. The first one is, I think this is called School Spirit. I'm not entirely sure, but I do have her already. She's, um... Yeah, I do actually have her already. Sorry, my Monster High shelf is kind of in disarray. I'm in the middle of reorganizing it because hopefully I'm going to be able to upload a collection overview video soon. I am trying to get the last minute things ready, but I will give you a disclaimer. My room will not be perfect. It will never exactly be the way I want it. So when I film this, if it doesn't look perfect, you know, it probably never will be, but I hope you guys will enjoy seeing my collection anyway. But anyway, yeah, here she is. She's in pretty good shape. She has her clothes and all of her limbs. Um, her face is just pretty dirty and her hair is just messy. Um, and the other doll in here, and I do not have this one. Achoo! Excuse me, sorry. The next doll and the doll that I don't have in here is... Sorry, I'm trying to get her hair out of her face so you can see her. Is Ghouls Alive Frankie. Here she is. I do not have her. I don't have very many of the Ghouls Alive dolls, um, but she actually works, so that's really cool. Neat. That's really neat. Um, yeah, she's in pretty rough shape. She does have her limbs, so that is a plus, but her hair is just really, really tangled. Obviously, it's pretty, pretty yikes, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to fix it, and she does have her earrings, even though they look to be broken off, but hey, I get what I get, and I don't throw a fit. I'm very excited to find her. The next doll was $6.98, and I actually bought this because I want to give the Equestria Girl inside to my cousin as a gift. She really likes Equestria Girls, and this one's in really good shape, um, and I personally don't collect them. So this is the only Equestria Girl I'll probably ever buy because it's for my cousin, 
Um, she has her shoes and everything. She's got her shoes and her necklace and her skirt and all that. Um, yeah, she's in really nice shape, but, like, I don't personally collect them. So, yeah. And then, the thing I'm going to keep for myself is this doll's dress, because this doll's in interesting shape. But the dress is really, really gorgeous, and so are the shoes. Like, I don't even know where these shoes came from, but they're seriously really, really good. They're really pretty. I like them a lot. Um, but yeah, the dress is super gorgeous. It's black. I think it came with a fashion pack at some point. I just think it's really, really gorgeous. Yeah, her face is kind of non-existent. But, moving on. Next doll. It has two Disney dolls inside. It was a white tag for $5.98. Yeah, okay. Doo -doo -doo. The first one is Prince Adam from Beauty and the Beast. He is still, he is wearing his beast suit as you guys can see, he is fully dressed, so that's super awesome, and he's very handsome. I don't, I've seen the ones that are a little bit more handsome than him. He's a little bit goofy looking in my opinion, but I still like him, and he's in really, really great shape. Like, he's very, very clean, and he even has his boots, so that's really good. And the next doll in the bag, I don't normally, oh, she's gorgeous. Oh my, wow, she's really pretty. Okay, this was a really pleasant surprise. I don't normally collect, um, like, dolls that aren't, like, from the Disney store, unless I just find them really, really beautiful. And this Cinderella's face is stunning. She is gorgeous. I love her so much. She has these molded-on gloves, and she's wearing her dress, but I just can't get over how beautiful her face is. I just love the face sculpt. It's just really, really beautiful. I think... This is a real... I'm really glad I decided to buy this. I just think her face is stunning. She's super beautiful, and even her hair is in pretty good shape. It just needs to be tidied up a little bit. Wow, okay. I'm really glad I decided to buy that one, because I was considering not. Next bag was $3.98, and I am very excited about especially one of the dolls inside. I'm saving my most favorite find of the day for last, so you guys probably all know who he is. You know, it's a he. Here is a Barbie fashionista. Her face seems to be a little bit, um, painted in an interesting way. Like, if you guys notice, like, one eyebrow is lower than the other, and I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. Sorry, her dress is kind of falling off. Um, it's actually a pretty cute dress on her. I do own it already, but maybe I'll just keep this dress on her because I actually like the way it looks on her. But, yeah, here she is. I think she's one of the Barbie fashionistas. I think she's actually petite, too. Um, yeah, she's in pretty cute shape. I like her a lot. Her hair is, like, crimped. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way, um, or not. Whoever crimped it did do a good job, because the hair doesn't feel burned at all, so maybe she actually came like that. But, yeah, I kind of like that one eyebrow is, like, lower than the other. She's kind of, like, giving, like, a sassy face, or, like, a confused face or something. Yeah, but she's really cute. But the doll that I'm really excited about from this bag is... Bum, bum, bum! This is Claude. Monster High Claude. I do only own one Claude. He's over there. If you guys can see him. I don't know if he's in camera frame or not. Um, but this is a very handsome Claude. He does have both of his limbs and his shorts. He doesn't have the rest of his clothes, but I'm still very, very excited. He does have some pink ink on his face, um, but I can get it off. And he has a number 47 written on his back. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to remove it. I'm just really excited to have found him. I don't have very many boy monster high dolls, so it's very, very exciting to find him. His flocked hair is still in pretty good shape. It's only missing one tiny chunk right there. So that's really exciting, and I'm really excited. Next, I'm trying to figure out which one to pick. Okay, next, this is a green tag. So I think this was 50% off. It was $6.98, and I wouldn't have bought it otherwise, but it did have a pretty heavy discount. So I decided to get it. The main reason I got it was for this doll. Now, I don't know if this... <gasps> She's even more beautiful than I could actually see. I thought that she just had, like, a Teresa face sculpt. I don't know if this dress belongs on her or not, because it's a very, very gorgeous dress. But I also think that this doll is gorgeous. Her eyes are really cool. They're, like, green and blue. Um, and the dress is, like, falling apart up here, but it's no big deal. I'm really hoping that it can be salvaged. Um, yeah, it's in pretty bad shape now that I take a closer look, but I'm still glad I bought it. She's very beautiful. And this dress if it's able to be fixed, is really, really beautiful itself as well. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that my mom might be able to fix it, because I have no idea how to sew. Um, but it's really, really gorgeous. This doll, too, is really beautiful. 
yeah, I'm really excited I bought this, even though the dress isn't in really good shape. And the other doll that I bought in the bag is this Barbie, and I don't know if I have her already. She does look familiar to me. She is wearing a dress and shoes that I do not have, however, though. She's wearing these cute pink boots and this really shiny purple dress. Um, I'm not sure if I have her or not. She's pretty, though. Um, if I don't have her, then I might wind up keeping her. Um, yeah, she's pretty cool looking. Her hair is a little bit fluffy, but it should be able to be fixed. Her face is just a little bit dirty as well, but nothing too crazy. Next really, really exciting doll was also only $3.98. I think the dolls that are naked, they do for $3.98, and I think the dolls that aren't, they do, like, higher price, but I'm not mad about that. Um, it makes sense. So, one doll that I have in here is, sorry, um, trying to get her. This is, I think this is First Wave, let me see, is this First Wave? I'm not sure. This, anyway, is one of the Gingerbread House dolls. I don't know which one it is. I think it might be, like, the original one. Um, and she does have her bracelets and both of her limbs. Her hair is really, really tangled, but it's no big deal. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to fix her. Yeah, she's really, really cute. I love Ginger. I think she's a really cool character, and I'm glad that she has, like, the original-looking um, Ever After High face mold. All of the new ones that had, like, the newer face. I just don't find them as cool, but I am excited to find this one. And the really, um, the doll that I'm really, really excited about in this bag, even though he's not in great shape, is Slow-Mo. He's really, really handsome. He is the first and only slow-mo that I have. He is missing a hand, and he's missing some flocking, but I am still not mad about it because I do not own one. Um, his hair is in actually really good shape. It's still sticking up really nicely. It's still really nice and flat. Um, yeah, like I said, he's missing a bunch of flocking right there, but I think I can, since I don't know how to fix flocked hair, I think I can at least paint it. But, yeah, he's kind of goofy looking, kind of like Lulia, but I still find him handsome. Um, he is only missing a hand, but... I'm going to have to like go on the Mattel website. Um, and he does not have clothes, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find something that fits him. I'm really excited to find him because he's the only one I have, like I said. And this doll also had a discount. I think she was 30% off. She was $5.98. I actually saw this doll um, the last time I was at that thrift store, and I didn't buy her then. And I kind of thought about her and regretted not buying her now. So I'm really glad that I was able to find her and buy her. And this is the, like, I can be figure skater or whatever. She's actually wearing her dress, and she has the made-to-move upper body, so just this part of her, and she doesn't have any articulation on the bottom. But I am really excited to get her. I really like her makeup and her eyebrows. I think she's kind of cool looking. Um, she's in pretty good shape, actually. She really doesn't need much. Um, her clothes just need to be washed. Her clothes are a little bit dirty. But I am glad that I reconsidered and bought her. And the other doll in here, I don't think I'm gonna keep. It's just a Hasbro Moana. Um, yeah. I mean, she's really cute, but she's a little bit, a little bit janky looking. Okay, another doll that I'm really excited about. I mainly just bought it for this one for... $6.98. It's a little bit expensive, but the reason my mom bought me all these is because I um, agreed to babysit my brother for a while, which I had been doing anyway, but this is sort of like payment in advance, if you will. Um, I don't recognize this boy. Um, he's kind of in interesting shape, like his arms are really loose, um, and he's wearing clothes that are not his, but um, yeah, I'm probably not going to keep him just because I don't collect dolls that look like this. Um, but I'm sure somebody out there will love him. And then, I do already own this doll, but the one that I have has really lopsided eyes. Um, I don't exactly remember. Okay, so I have her. She's right here, if you guys can see her. She's right there. But she has really lopsided eyes, and actually this one's eyes are a little bit lopsided too. But she's still really cute, and I am glad I bought her. She is missing an arm, but she does have this one. And she is wearing first edition Raven's skirt, which is really interesting, but, you know... What can you do? Her face is really dirty, and her hair is a little bit crusty. It's just really dirty. But she should be able to be cleaned decently. The next doll, or dolls, was $5.98. And yes, I know you see that it's a Flynn Rider. And yes, I know I bought one that looked exactly like him in the last one. But this one has his pants and his shoes. And I still find him very, very handsome. I will pull him out first. So this is Disney Store Flynn. Um, 
yeah, I still find him just as handsome as I did before, but this one has his pants and his boots and his satchel, which is just made of, like, felt. He's just, he's just really, really handsome. I think he actually might be different than the one that I had. The other one had, like, things on his shoulders, so maybe he's a different one. I don't know. I still find him really, really handsome, and he had his full outfit, so I got him. And also, another thing that encouraged me to buy this bag was this Disney Store Jasmine. She is just in really, really good shape. She still has her shoes, which is, I think, the only Jasmine I own that has her shoes. And she also has her full outfit, including her headband. It is missing the gem, if it's supposed to have one, but I'm really not that bothered. Um, yeah, her hair is in disarray, but it's not in that bad a shape. I'll be able to fix her pretty quickly. But I am really excited to find one in her complete outfit. She's very beautiful. And the next doll I got was $3.98, and I was a little bit iffy about buying her, but I really have been wanting more than one. Oops, sorry, I dropped something. I... I only have one of this doll, and I've been really wanting another one for a really, really and long time. And it is Skeleta. Now, she looks like she is wearing a Roller Maze Operetta dress that's been colored in, so I'll have to give that a wash. Um, but the first thing that I noticed was that she had a lot of, like, pen and marker on her face, like someone, like, redid her makeup. I'm gonna hopefully be able to get it off with benzoyl peroxide, um, because I really, really love Skeleta, and I only do have one of her. But I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do my best to remove all that, um, but I'm not sure if it will. But I'm still gonna try my very hardest because she does have both of her limbs and her hair isn't that bad at all. She just needs a lot of cleaning.